Hello, and in today's video, I wanted to continue the Enterprise series by covering custom breakpoints in mapping missions. I was inspired to do this because I was recently doing a low altitude thermal capture of solar panels, and the site was split in two by a rail line. And right next to the rail line was a tree that was higher than my capture altitude. Many people would have solved this by splitting the site into two missions that carefully avoided the tree in the middle. But by using a custom breakpoint, I was able to keep just one mission for the whole site, stopping the mission just before the tree and continuing after. It took no time at all and was much easier than carefully creating two plans. This is great for skipping around objects like trees, cranes, cell towers, etc. But it's also useful if you need to restart a mission part way through. This can happen if, for example, you had an SD card failure, which actually happened to me on the solar capture day. So how do we do that? Well, here we are running a capture and I'm going to pretend that there is an obstacle at the red X. So what we're going to do is hit pause on the controller flight once the drone is near the object. And then we're going to say stop flight route. Task now we click on custom breakpoint, fly to the other side of the object, move the red dot with the pause icon by dragging it where we want to be with our finger, and then save the breakpoint and start the mission again. Select Resume from Breakpoint and the drone will then fly to the new location, completely skipping the object. Flies to breakpoint. It's easy and assuming you have line of sight to stop it before it hits something, it's a lot easier than planning a whole new mission. But what about the situation where you need to restart from a point? Well, in that case, do the same thing. Pause the mission, move the red dot to where you need to restart from, and then resume. It'll even remember which direction it should be flying in if you've crossed multiple lines. Aircraft flies to break point. One thing I did want to point out, this is for a Mavic 3 Enterprise using Pilot 2. If you're using an M300, then Pilot 2 lets you define geo zones that the drone will stay out of. I don't have an M300, so I've not been able to test that. Also, if you're using Drone Link instead of Pilot 2, that lets you create exclusion zones, and that can be used with a wide variety of drones, including the M3E. I covered that in a previous video, which I will link to at the top. Anyway, that's it for another video. I hope you found it useful. As always, I love to hear your comments and questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.